I'm Paul Doherty, and I'm here to tell you the shocking truth about the Exploratorium Science Snack Books Activity Charge and Carry. Ow. So here's how you do it. You find a piece of household styrofoam. Perhaps it came as insulation with an electronic device you bought, or you can go to a hardware store like Home Depot and find house insulation. The thicker, the better. And then you find an old wool sock, and you rub the styrofoam hard with the wool sock for about a minute, actually. You also find a pie pan and a styrofoam cup. Tape the styrofoam cup to the pie pan. Don't glue it, because the glue will dissolve the styrofoam. And then drop it onto the charged styrofoam. When you bring your finger near it, you can hear and see a spark, and definitely feel the spark. It jumps maybe a centimeter, and that's a couple thousand volts. But there's only a few billion electric charges, and a few billion electric charges hardly counts for the number of electric charges. So once you've done that, you can lift up the pie pan and do it again, getting a second spark. Put it back down, spark. Bring it up, spark. Down, spark. Up, spark. Now what's happening here? When I rub the styrofoam with the wool, the styrofoam gets an excess of negative charges. The wool becomes positively charged, but that leaks off into my hand. The pie pan has no excess charges. When I drop it, the negatives on the styrofoam are stuck. It's an insulator. They drive the negatives off the pie pan, but they can't go anywhere until my hand comes close enough that they can jump the gap. Now I've taken the negatives off the originally neutral pie pan, and it's positively charged. When I bring my hand over, the negatives now are attracted from my finger to the positives on the pie pan. They jump across, make a spark, and cancel out all the charge. So that's it. Charge and carry. For more information about this activity, or 111 more, check out the Exploratorium's Science Snackbook, a collection of teacher-developed activities for secondary math and science teachers.